Virtual Excellence Show is an experiment in which we learn both from amazing people and by doing. The idea is that we will share our lessons learned because Virtual Excellence has to be about community, I believe, doing together and learning from it. So this is the first of some very brief lessons learned videos we'll share along the way. Our first episode last week featured an inspiring conversation with Howard Rheingold and some interesting content, but it's safe to say that we learned a lot. I've distilled three lessons we learned that will shape how we continue to do the show. So first is that the conversations really need to stand alone. The show features conversations with amazing people like Howard Rheingold, John Hagel, and more very special people to come. So rather than sticking the interview in the second half of the show, it needs to be the center. Certainly there's also other content that will be useful to help create virtual excellence, tutorials, reviews of useful tools, news on interesting developments and so on, but that doesn't mean it should all be crammed into one show. These can be separate videos for those who specifically want that content. Second lesson is to not overproduce the live shows, and it's probably fair to describe the live stream of our first episode as a semi-disaster with quite a few technical and production problems, so we had to edit the stream afterwards to get an acceptable video up on YouTube. Uh, we were too ambitious, particularly on the very first go, in trying to create a highly produced live show with very little resources, and I had to laugh about it afterwards. I had set up 20 hot keys on my keyboard that I had to press by feel at just the right moment to make the show work, and it was, it was kind of a bit ridiculous, but I tried and learned from it. And so part of that was wanting to demonstrate virtual excellence, but also to create a show that might someday be taken up by broadcast TV or streaming platforms. But that doesn't mean we need to be starting from trying to do that broadcast TV style. We should start with useful segments and develop from there. And the third related topic is the, this focus on community and conversations. In 2011, I created a proposal for a TV show which was intended to be the most participatory TV show in the world. And I showed it to a leading production company who said they were already working on something similar, though never saw them do it. And it is a challenge to meld a broadcast style show and participation, but it's also a massive opportunity, which we're trying to explore here. For me, the very idea of virtual excellence implies community. And I've been wondering, in fact, whether this shouldn't be called the, the virtual excellence community rather than the virtual excellence show. Of course, the question is, how can we best make that happen? For now, the folks will be getting involvement in the weekly live guest conversations, starting with hashtags, and from there working out whatever is going to work best to broaden the participation. So those are our lessons learned so far, just one episode into the show. And the weekly live show will be focused on conversations with uh, guests, making them as participatory as possible. And in addition to the weekly live show, we'll release some short videos, including lessons learned such as this one, tutorials, conversation starters, and more. And we'll continue to learn along the way, I would uh, hope. So please, uh, if this is uh, interesting to you, subscribe on YouTube to the show. If you can participate in the live shows, uh, give us your suggestion and advice, then go to our website, thevx.show. Uh, use the Twitter hashtag, um, hashvxshow, um, or go to our Facebook page, where we'll also be having conversations there. So our shows are the same time every week, so if you can, please join the live shows, and we'll uh, see where this all goes. So thank you so much for listening today. Have a most wonderful day.